In this video, let's create the login API. We begin by creating a new method to handle the request. Now this will be a post request to the endpoint login. And as a callback, again, we get access to the request and the response. Within the function, the first step again is to extract the user information from the request body. So let user data is equal to request.body. So we have the email and the password stored in user data variable. Next, we need to check if the email address exists in the database or not. Only then can we proceed with the remaining steps. And the way we do that is using the find one method that Mongoose provides on the model. The find one method accepts a condition and returns exactly one document from the database that matches that condition. For our scenario, we need to find exactly one user who has the same email ID as the request email ID. So we are going to have user, which is the user model dot find one. And the condition we specify is that the email in the database, so email should be the same as the email submitted from the front end, user data dot email. And then the second argument is a callback function that either gives an error or the user that matched the condition. If at all there is an error, let's just log that to the console. So if error, console.log error. Else, if there is no error, we first need to check if we did or did not find a user matching the email ID. So if not user, that is if there was no user found, we send a status of 401, so res.status of 401 with the message invalid email. However, if we did find the user, we need to check if the passwords match or not. So else, if user.password is not equal to user data dot password. So if the password in the database is not equal to the password submitted from the front end, we again send a status of 401 with the message invalid password. If both email and the password match, we respond with a status of 200 and send the logged in user details. Res.status of 200 dot send the user details. And that is our login API. First, extract the user data and then query the database with the email ID. Check if the user exists with that email ID. Then proceed to verify the password and then proceed with returning the user details. So let's restart our server and test it in Postman. I'm gonna open the terminal again, Control C, and then Node Server. 